for Van der Waals. There's two main forces you want to know, and that's the uh, dipole and the uh, <laughs> London. Dipole in London. The dipole is permanent. London is induced. There's a lot of words. You could say induced. You could say instantaneous. You could say temporary. All mean the same thing. The opposite of permanent. Okay. So this is London, also called dispersion. Sometimes called London dispersion. Same thing. There's the same. Thing. Okay. Everything has London. Every atom, every molecule will have London. Some will just only have London. Usually we'll ask you, which one is the dominating force? Well, if it has nothing else, it's got to be London by default. Not everything will have a dipole. dipole things with dipoles look asymmetric. Okay, so those are those two. The other type of force, it's not in this section, but it's another uh, dipole type is the H-bond. The H-bond is just an extremely strong dipole. It's permanent. And this is between nitrogen, oxygen, or fluorine plus a hydrogen. Okay? The nitrogen, oxygen, or fluorine must be bonded to a hydrogen. Okay, so those are the three types. There's a couple things you'd want to do with these. First of all, identification. So any molecule, you'll need to know which one of the three types it is. Because you need to know this is the strongest, next strongest is dipole, and the weakest is London. The only way London will get stronger is if, does anybody know? The molecule gets much bigger. As the molecule gets bigger, this gets stronger. Because there are a lot of little baby forces that add up to a much stronger force. So. There's those three. You want to, one, identify, and two, uh, know the following. Strong uh, force means, so strong or high force means, one, high boiling point. Two, high, gamma means what? Surface tension. Surface tension. Three, high viscosity, and four, low vapor pressure. So that means, which one of these forces per like unit of molecule is going to have the highest boiling point? The dipole, the London, or the H-bond? The H-bond should, because it's the strongest, it'll tend to have the highest boiling point. <coughs> then next would be the dipole, and next would be London. Unless London was really big. So the opposite is true. Which one would have the like lowest boiling point? Well, that'd be London. Or the lowest uh, surface tension, or viscosity, or the highest vapor pressure. Okay? So those things you want to connect. So you need to get this in your brain. So, those are basically the two main things you're going to do with this concept. So, if I give you uh, ammonia, what would be the tom uh, dominant force here for ammonia? H bonds, because you have nitrogen and hydrogen. So if we compare ammonia with, uh, let's try this one, pH3, what, kind, what would be the dominant one here? It's between the three, H bond or dipole or London? It would be dipole, so this would be H bond. This would be dipole. It's not H-bond because there's no nitrogen, oxygen, or fluorine. Okay. So it can't be that one. <coughs> All right. 
So which one would have the highest vapor pressure? Which one? Yeah, this one would have the highest vapor pressure because it has the weakest force. This one would have the higher boiling point, surface tension, and viscosity. Okay, see how that works? Uh, let's see what else can I say about this. Oh, let's try another one. Let's go... Argon versus helium. What is the dominant force for argon? London. What's that? London. London, how did you know that? Because all of, it doesn't really have a dipole and it doesn't have a H bond. So it's, exactly. It's a very inert gas. You got it, yeah. There's no dipole here, it's just one atom. And then there's no H bond, there's not even a hydrogen on it. Okay, how about helium? Same properties because it's in the same color. Exact same thing. There's no dipole. There's uh, there's no hydrogen even. It can't be a hydrogen bond. So both of these are London. Which one has the stronger London force? Argon. Argon. How do you know that? It's bigger. It's bigger. So it's bigger. It weighs more. So it's going. To, it has a higher force. So it'll have the higher boiling point. Argon will have the higher surface tension, the higher viscosity. You see how this works? And helium will have the higher vapor pressure. Okay? Does that help? So given any two given any molecule, you identify the forces. Given any two molecules, you compare which one will have the higher ones of these depending on what we ask for.